don't think you can see much. I was just thinking how the weather forecast was a lot of garbage again. What wind? And then out of nowhere, wind came up. But the thing was, I was in the dinghy, so I am absolutely drenched. And your coat is so wet, we can't even bring it in. No, not even a chance. And I didn't even have it on, but it's just about that. I take my coat off because it was so nice. But. I am absolutely I past yeah. you with the millions. I am absolutely drenched. Oh. Never mind. Oh, we got we actually got boarded by the customs yesterday. We did. Uh, obviously we couldn't film them because they're not not allowed. But, but uh, we actually uh, handed in our passport. It's only like what a couple yeah. of months. Five years we've had those things on board. Yeah, five years. Ah, uh, we've been to Ireland a couple of times since then. But I said in the earlier blog that the thing about Ireland was to expect the unexpected. God, it hit with a vengeance for day, didn't it? Yeah. But uh, anyway, oh, I'm going to get some of the shopping away because uh, we've been out shopping. All right, Trip. Turn the camera off. Nobody wants to see you naked going under the shark. Well, they might do, but they're not going to. And uh, surprisingly, we've been here for six days. And what have we been here for? Yet another storm. Oh. Yeah, there was yet another storm, and um, I also needed to do some uh, work, so I had to go on to um, a marina for a couple of days. So we tried um, Castle Park Marina. Really nice marina, and uh, I think the guy is looking after it well. And what more can you say? But currently, there is a massive boat uh, tied up at Castle Park. And um, if you're ever thinking of uh, getting one, <laughs> <laughs> it's nine euros a night per, per foot. Per meter. Was it per meter? That's per not meter, but it's a 60 meter boat. So it's a 60 metre boat. So it's a 60 metre boat. So it's 540 euros per night. It's been here at least two nights already. Yeah, 540. So I think it was actually per foot, but... No, nobody measures anything in feet. They do when it comes to money. <laughs> you're, re you're reading too much of the 39 steps. Ah, oh, dudes. But anyway, yeah, so uh, a few pounds just to stay the night in a marina. But anyway... I'll let you get on because we are off today and we are going to be going east. Videoing that, honest to God, that is so yellow. sailed uh, from Kinsale this morning and about the only interesting thing we did on the entire passage was put the sails up and put the sails down again. It got very interesting at the end when I dropped the boat hook over the side. However, <laughs> um, just at the end it got very 
very interesting. We decided to go on to the mooring balls because obviously as you're coming in you don't know whether you're going to raft or not raft or anything like that or other people are going to come and raft afterwards. So I just said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just do the mooring ball um, and we won't bother um, with the pontoon. It's not like we need any supplies or anything. So got onto the mooring ball, got really well on the line and everything. But the problem was uh, Beverly had to put the boat hook on the around the mooring ball. Um, not the more, but basically the hook, the pickup, the pickup, so that um, she had that, and the hook was so good that she just literally couldn't hold it and organise Mr. Swifty and all the rest of it. So in the end, it just went. So that's it, two boat hooks I've lost over the side. Yeah. So that's so we've lost another boat hook. So we will be going over to uh, <laughs> Kilmore Key because <laughs> I need a new boat walk. But oh, just we're doing this because we have to. Um, there's yet another storm coming on the western side, so we're quite glad that we made the decision we did. But it in half a long trek back, and we're just doing it because we have to. Beverly and I are going to be leaving you all in a few minutes and uh, it looks like it's going to be another motor sail, um, very very light winds but um, you've seen this coast before so um, no harm done there but uh, one of the things I really appreciate is the fact that I know that the mooring balls here are free because paying for the mooring in uh, Kinsale is a bit of a palaver. Um, I noticed that uh, there is a telephone number and that you can go and uh, pay at the Harbour Master. So I went up to the Harbour Master only to be told um, that um, they don't take cash and they haven't got a card machine. So I was directed to the Town Hall in Kinsale. Um, and that's where I paid, but um, I didn't phone the number, but a couple of people I've, I do know had, and they didn't get an answer. So like I say, it was a bit of a palaver going and paying for the uh, moorings, whereas here, they're free, you know they're free, and you just come in and you sort yourself out. And if you want to go into on the... Uh, and if you want to go onto the pontoon, that's also free, but only during the night. But, you know, that's great for if you just need to come and get supplies and things. So, yeah, I think more, more places should be free. Uh, just so that it encourages you to go and do a bit of shopping or come and visit the place. But if you ever do come to uh, Yall, one of the things that we noticed last time we were here was there was an awful lot to do with Moby Dick. And that is because um, they filmed the very first few scenes of Moby Dick here at Yall. So, um, you know, you've got Moby Dick pub, you've got a few statues and things like that. But yeah, we're off and it's going to be a motor. But you've seen that coast before, so if anything interesting happens, we'll tell you. back at Dunmore East Yay! and uh, the only issue is um, where we normally anchor uh, is now cordoned off as a safety area. Now I think it's a good idea 
because um, even when we were here we saw some um, motor boaters and people like that going far too close to the beach. Uh, so cordoning it off is a good idea but it just means that we've had to anchor out in a slightly deeper water but nothing that's uh, unreasonable. But the passage was so dull that Beverly actually wrote in the log book What was crew, it Bev? Crew board ratless But crew board ratless So yeah that's about it really we're just going home and I'm afraid to say it's dull 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 so <laughs> we don't know if we're going to put much of this in because it's just a case we've got to get on with it.